Oh, Gwent, play me. What is Gwent? Mm hmm. Uh. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Let's play some Gwent. Yes. Welcome to Gwent. Gwent is an ancient dwarven card game that simulates the clash of two armies and battles. The players are generals and the cards are their forces. You go first. Okay. To begin, you draw 10 cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the, of the match. You will not draw any more cards, so use these wisely. Um, unit card strength. This unit card this is the unit card. The number in the upper left corner indicates strength. When placed on the battlefield, the value is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. Uh, this is yeah, this next section unit card combat row. This is unit card units combat row icon. This icon indicates the row on the battlefield where the card can be played. So this is a siege combat. Some units have special abilities. This Hedridge Siege Expert special ability is called Moral Boost, which grants one strength to all units in the same row. Okay. Weather cards. Whether cards are types of special cards, they reduce the strength of all cards of a given type on the battlefield, including their own. Okay. Uh, at the start of each game, you select up to two cards to discard and withdraw. But let's skip that for now and go straight to playing. Okay. Here is the battlefield. This is your side. Okay. This is your opponent's side. Got it. During each turn, a player must place one card on the battlefield and pass. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability. <sighs> Again, sorry. Which can be used once during a battle. Trigger, uh, once during a battle, trigger the special ability at any point by pressing X. Uh, playing cards, press A to select the card from your hand and place on the battlefield. Okay. So, do I do... What's this guy do? Uh, does he have a special ability? How do you find out if they have special abilities? Hmm. Well, I might as well put him down. I'll put him down. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say that. Okay. The number on the left by the icon shows the current total strength of units. I'm sorry again. The number of the right shows the total strength for that row. Both values are updated when the card is played. At the end of the round, the player's the highest total strength wins. Okay. During your turn, you can press Y to pass. End of round. Opponent's turn. Oh, so it's going to beat me. Oh, why is it put on my turn? Why was that put there? I'm so confused. What's this one do? How do you... Nope. Oh, okay. Okay, so that shows... Okay. Place your opponent's battlefield counts towards your pop battles. Draw two cards from your deck. So we put a spy on. This one's got a special moral boost. Add one zone to a row, excluding itself. It sets the strength of all siege combat towers to one for both players. So, do I just put this guy there? And that gives me 18. So he's put another spy. But what does this one do? I'm really confused, like... Okay, so I think... I have 28. And I want to put one there. 
Uh, can I put another one? Might as well. What's my leader do? Pig card and it Right, okay. Can I keep putting as many cards as I can? I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna put them all on my i I'm just gonna put them all on. Yeah? Yeah, just just do it. Well let me pass. And apply. And I just do that, just do that. Oh, I think I did. I messed up. Oh my god, I messed up. I think... Oh. Okay. Because I didn't have any cards. Oh. And I placed them all at once. I lost it. I will get better at Gwent. Fast travel. Right. Where are we going to first? This is a world map. Oh god. So, a friend wasn't wrong about... She's just level 19, she's just level 1, 5, 10, 35. A level three. So I think what's best to do is go back to White Orchard and go here. Right? How do you fast travel? Sorry, wrong button. Fast travel. World map, that's it. Open regional map. Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. I'm just going back to White Orchard to do some missions. Okay, let's take... Oops, oh, wrong button. So, we need to go back there. So I'm going the wrong way. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through. Roach, what are you doing down there? Ooh, merchant. We meet again. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches, but I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. <laughs> so you managed to salvage some goods. Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? I'll, I'll let it go half free. Uh, what are you offering? Let's see what this guy's offering. Stock. Oh. Oh my god, this is like... Okay, requires level 4. Uh, ooh, this is for my horse. Horse stuff. Tools. What's this? Catapult Gwent card. Some Gwent card stuff. What's this one? Cotton. Stuff down here. What's potions? 
uh, use an alchemy. Might as well take that. Take care. And let's see what my horse looks like. Road, where have you gone? Let's have a look at you. I think. Oh, I don't know. What did I do? Uh, notice board. Notice board. Geese, girl, run! And those boards here. So, uh, volunteers wanted. Oh, do I just take them all? Well, I just took them all. Okay, let's have a look. Quests. And. Treasure hunts completed. Okay. Scavenger hunt, Viper school gear. While traveling down to Leeds. Oh, okay. Character quests, world map, inventory, alchemy, crafting, books. Characters, tutorial, beastie, meditation. Uh, inventory. So there's a there's a letter I'm supposed to read. We had papers. Let's Yennefer. Are there any quest items? Oh, there we go. Okay, I've done that. I think. I am so confused. Search for castle ruins. Ah, right. Now we're gonna go to some castle ruins. Where would the castle ruins be? So I gotta go to here. Ooh, what's this? Stop getting distracted. So I want honeycombs. Excuse me, geese. Oh, why am I wa why am I walking? Crow's eye. Come on. Why are you over there, Roach? Let's go. Right. Okay, let's see what this thing has to offer me. Shall we? Oh, what, I'm, what I think I love about The Witcher, obviously it's a bit complicated and I haven't played in a while so my memory's a bit hazy of the game, but it's a story that's really interesting. Can I go this way? There's no fish people here, is there? No. Go through the, go through this bit. Just skipping everything. Just the story is is interesting to me, and I love games with a bit of story. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Yeah, games with a bit of story is fun. Oh, it got really dark really quickly, and I've got goose pumps. Oh, so when they say castle ruins, this is castle ruins. Oh, right. This is a castle ruins, basically, isn't it? Can I climb up there? Sorry. Yup. Oh yeah. Where do we go? There's a deserter. Oh, come on, climb up. Ooh. Did I like did that just come out with him? Yeah. 
Oh Christ. Oh, dodge. Don't! Bodicals. Budge. Right. Back at it again, shall we? Dumb idiot decided to roll. Ugh. You know what? I think I think I'm gonna I think I'll stop there. Before I get mad at myself. Oh, right. Gonna save the game. Save. You know what I forget for games like this? To save. Often. Because I'm used to games where I have like a save, well, a, a respawn point. Um, but yeah, I think I'll stop there. <laughs> before I do anything else silly. So, thank you very much. Thank Thank you very much for watching these videos. I, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying doing the Let's Plays. So I'm hoping to do more Let's Plays of games. There's loads of games now that I've got thanks to Xbox Live Game Pass. Free plug in there. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, you know, to keep my... Keep the content coming, and I'll keep the content coming as well. So, thank you very much, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.